Salas, the workshop manager here at the Edinburgh Tool Library. This weekend, February 14th, from 2 to 4 p.m., we'll be having a swift nest box building workshop. We'll be joined by Katie O'Neill from the RSVB, and they'll be talking a little bit about these awesome creatures, their habits, and how we can make them feel more at home here in our city. We won't be providing materials for this workshop just because of the nature of the woodworking, but as always, the tool library has an awesome inventory of tools you can borrow from, or you should be able to make most everything with some simple tools you might have at home. Proceeds from the workshop will be going to our charitable outreach programs. So it's a great way to do something with the ones that you love, learn a little bit more about nature, and give back. So for the workshop, the basics that you'll need are a saw for cutting down your wood, a hammer and some nails, and or a drill with the appropriate bits for driving as well as drilling your holes. Um, you can do the workshop just with a hammer, but I would recommend a drill if you can, just so that you can take your bird box apart if needed for cleaning and also just to have a little bit more flexibility. The Eventbrite page has all of this information, so if something is missed, you can go on there, see a list of materials you'll need, as well as a really amazing plan that's been put together by the RSVB, so you can get a visual of what our bird boxes will look like, as well as all of the cuts that you'll need. So for this workshop, we're gonna be making our nest boxes out of wood. It's really important that we use wood that is bird safe. There's a lot of different ways to source your wood, but we're gonna be using something like pine, oak, beech, or even plywood as long as it's been made sustainably. You can go to different places around town. Move on Wood Recycling is a great place to get recycled wood, as well as your local lumber yard. And another way you can find free reclaimed wood is by using things like pallets. There's awesome resources online to find out ways that you can make wood paneling. So if you have one of these laying around, you're welcome to go on YouTube or reach out to me and ask for different tips on how to make your pieces. The most important thing is to make sure that your wood isn't treated. If you have wood that has paint or a varnish on it, you can definitely sand it back, but just be really careful that there's nothing left on there that's toxic. As always, the Edinburgh Tool Library has you covered on borrowing tools. If you need a saw, a drill, or even just some advice, feel free to reach out and we can help you get set up as a member or just answer your questions. Really excited about this workshop and learning more about Swifts and we really hope you can join us.